I don't think this is going to work. Then a real wall washer. Uh, you've got lenses in here that kind of focus the light out a little better. I don't care about that. But the problem I was having was when you get these boards really long, they start bowing. In some cases, probably an inch and a half or so. And so that made me kind of rethink the design. Plus, two by fours are kind of heavy to hang up on the side of the house. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get very far along in that design before I decided to make a turn. Hi, welcome to another Project Tuesday edition of Canis Bader Christmas. Last week I started on a project called, well I'm calling it anyway, a wall washer using 2x4s. And the further I got down the road on that, the more I decided that was really not a good design for it. So I've come up with a new design. Uh, I hope y'all didn't run out and start doing that. If you did, send me a picture, but anyway. Uh, I've got a new design for that. I think it's going to work out a lot better. I will show you the, a string of 50 lights up against the house because it looks really good. So let's get started. So what I decided to do was get some Schedule 40 PVC, 4 inch length, uh, put a couple of holes in it, and then use the Boscoyo strips and did a little wire tie to the Boscoyo strip. The pixel just pushes into the end of it and we have a nice little chain of lights. Now a couple things, as these get longer this is gonna go down like this. So you want them all straight. So you either have to put a lot of tension on this or I'm probably gonna end up mounting this to a long PVC pipe it's still, these actually weigh more than it looks, so it's still going to cause it to bow, but I should be able to mount it in three or four places for a 10 foot piece to, to actually hold it up straight. Well, here's what this looks like in the dark. And then I'll show you, this is what it looks like in the light. <clears throat> so I think that is going to produce the effect that I want without having to pay a whole lot of money for the lenses at the end of the thing. <laughs> this time I'm going to do one string of 50 pixels, put it up on the side of the house, see what it looks like, and then either continue or take another direction. But I think the second phase will work well. So I got my little jig here, we'll open up the cutter, we'll put the cutter right there, we'll slide it in, we'll measure, and we cut. Open, measure, cut. And this goes a lot faster than measuring each one of them individually. Well, that gives you an idea how quick it is. So here's the result of cutting all those. I got uh, I was supposed to get 30. I got 29, so I must be a little long. Uh, that's still okay. So now what I need to do is drill two holes in it so that it can so I can wire tie it to the strip. Got another little jig here that will put those holes in exactly the right place. So we turn it on, we put a hole, we move it back, put a hole. Perfect. So I've joined two Boscoyo strips together. I'm going to do 50 lights to start with. And so I just put a wire tie here. I'm actually going to use this side to hold this here. So 
I can do this on camera for you. Perfect. And I just need to do this 49 more times. So a couple things here. I really like the way this looks, but um, I'm going to need to make sure that it is tied up pretty good. I've got ties about every five, but as you can see, and especially as we get down here, uh, they're just kind of hanging and they're all looking different. So I think to make them look all the same, I'm going to need more wire ties, maybe tie each tube. I'm kind of liking this. I think this is going to work just fine. That's about it for this week. I uh, hope you got some good information out of that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. <laughs>